Hey guys, Eric Gorno here with Performance Golf. And in today's video, if you're like a lot of golfers that I work with and you hit your irons pretty darn good, but you struggle to transition that iron swing to your driver swing, the concept and drills I'm gonna show you in today's video are gonna really help you. I've done this with a lot of recent students who had that same issue. They say, Eric, gosh, I'm hitting my short irons really good, right? I can hit my pitching wedge, nine iron, eight iron, pretty darn good at the target. But as my irons get longer and the clubs get longer and I get into my woods, I really struggle. I don't hit it as solid. Uh, the contact's off. I tend to kind of fade them off to the right too much and I lose too much distance. What's going on? And I want to show you what I showed my recent student and then I'll show you the drills here. So I took out my two clubs. I've got a driver here and I've got an eight iron. And I want to show you the differences at setup and how that affects the entire swing. Now, if I take my driver and I just lay it flat on the ground, the sole of the club, and I take my eight iron and I also lay that flat on the ground, do you notice the difference in the angle of the clubs right at setup? You say, yes, I notice, hey, that iron is on quite more, it's a more of a vertical angle, and the driver's on a much lower or horizontal angle. Now, not only is this the angle at setup these clubs are, but they're also built to be delivered at impact on relatively the same angle. So if my eight iron's on a more vertical angle and my driver's on a more horizontal or lower angle, that means I need to adjust a little bit of how I'm swinging the club. And this is where this makes sense. If this is on a more vertical angle, that means that club works okay, these short irons, on a more up and down or vertical swing plane. But for the driver to be delivered at this lower angle, that needs to work more on a horizontal or more around me, lower swing plane to be more effective. Most golfers who come in with their iron, right? This might be you. You swing your iron up and down a bunch. Maybe the downswing's a little bit steep, right? When the ball's on the ground and I need to hit ball first, ground second, I can get away with that with these short clubs. You'll hit some solid, you'll probably hit some pulls to the left, some overfades to the right, but you can get away with it. But as I get into these longer clubs, right, driver in particular, and now the ball's not on the ground anymore, the ball's actually teed up in the air, now that same swing with this club that goes up and down, where I hit down on the ball isn't gonna work. In fact, because the ball's up in the air like this, I actually wanna hit fairly level or slightly up on the ball, and that requires a different shape to my swing. Okay, so the first drill that I showed this student and a lot of my students for this, uh, we're gonna take the club and put it level to the ground and work our way down to get a feel of swinging around our body, not so much up and down. But what do I mean? I want you to take your club, take your driver out in front of you and hold it about parallel to the ground, okay? Now imagine there's sort of a tabletop here, or I got this on top of a table. I want you to swing on the way back and through and have as little up and down as humanly possible. I want you to swing this purely around your body first. So I'll go here, I'll swing it back around me, behind my right shoulder, back behind me, my left shoulder. Up in front, around, around. And let's do a couple of these. And as I was doing this with the student, they said, Eric, that feels more like I'm swinging like a baseball bat, like a baseball swing. I said, that's exactly correct. That's what you wanna feel more of with your longer clubs. So we go around, around. Now notice as I'm going around around with this, is my body staying at the golf ball or am I having some turn and some turn? But I got my body turned. I'm not going like this, around around with no turn. That's not what I'm looking for. Turn my body back, swing my arms around. Turn my body through, swing my arms around. No up and down at that first level. Now we're gonna gradually work down. I say, let's go from level to the ground to about 45 degrees. Now because I lowered this a little, there'll be some up and down but I still want it to feel more around. Turn my body back, swing it around. Turn my body through, swing it around. More like a baseball. Turn my body back, swing around. Turn my body through, swing around. Third part, I say let's go just above the golf ball. Guess what we're gonna feel? Same thing. Turn my body back, swing around. Turn my body through, swing around. As we were doing this, the gentleman said, okay, I feel like I'm feeling like a baseball swing. He felt his body turning back and through. And the little cue that we had was feeling like the hands got behind the shoulder and he felt like they didn't really even get above. They were kind of behind and as low as, or even lower than the shoulder. Now that's not really where he went, but it was a feeling of more around. 
So I swing around with turn, hands feel like they're kind of behind my shoulder and they almost don't even feel like they're above them, right? So this would be the bad way up here, very vertical, no around. We want turn and around, turn and around. Same thing just above the ball, turn and around, turn and around. And then we put the ball on the ground. I said, okay, let's hit with those same sensations. So you do level to the ground, 45, ball just above, and then a hit. And I want to feel those same things. Body turning back, body turning through, and swinging the club more around my body. More around versus up and down. Around, around. And they got a ball flight that was like that. Nice medium flight draw, kind of right down the middle of the fairway. That's the ball flight pattern we're looking for when we do more of the around, okay? The more you swing around your body versus up and down, you're gonna be able to hit the ball medium flight, little more draw bias, less of the fade. The more you fade the ball, the more you need to feel around as you're doing this. So we went through that and did that a couple times, right? I just did one of those. So I would do same thing up here, turn my body back, all level to the ground, feel behind my right shoulder, behind my left shoulder, behind my right shoulder, behind my left shoulder, just above the ball, behind my right shoulder, behind my left shoulder, same sensation. More baseball swing here. Make sure the body's turning back and through. Hands feel behind the shoulders, not really even above them at all. And there's my same thing. So the ball's going a little bit right in my target line there, but nice solid strike, right? And that's what I'm looking to repeat with this versus the iron where the ball's in the ground. So normal setup position, I don't have to change anything that, but as the clubs get longer and longer and the lie angle gets lower and lower and lower, I need to swing more and more around. So like a five iron would be more around than an eight iron. A driver would be more around than a five iron, right? As the clubs get longer, we go more and more around. So that's key concept number one of the move you wanna have that's gonna really help your driver versus your iron. I also showed my student a secondary drill that I wanna show you next. Okay, so the second drill that I gave my student that I want you to have as well is I'd really love for you to practice with, a, uh, with an object right over the golf ball. Okay, now I'm out on grass here on the range, so I've got an alignment rod stuck into the grass here behind the ball. And notice how I have that set up. The front end of the alignment rod is basically straight over the ball. And I'm making it a little bit easy on myself here to start with. I've got about a grip and two inches above the ball. A lot of players, I'll even move this down to like literally only a grip away from the ground. So this would be a good starting point here, but it can get a little lower. And the whole point of having this object over the ball from the down the line is to prevent too much of the up and down motion that we already have too much of with our irons. It's gonna train us to get the club head to travel into the ball from more where? Low and inside. If this shaft angle is supposed to be lower, how the heck could I get to that spot at impact from a position up out here? I would never would. I would be very, very vertical from there. But what about if I approach the ball with the club head traveling from more low and inside? All of a sudden, it's very easy to get that shaft lower, more parallel to the ground. So what I would suggest doing is I would do the baseball swing and work my way down to the ball first. And once I have a feel for that, I would put this in the second half of the practice. And can I get that same sensation, have the club head work underneath the shaft and hit the same sort of ball flight? I'm looking for a little bit more draw bias here, less fade bias, same setup, more around. My body turns back, hands behind my right shoulder, body turns through, hands behind my left shoulder. Let's go ahead and hit one there. Get the club head working underneath the stick. And there's a nice solid draw right down the middle of the fairway. And that's really the ball flight pattern that I'm looking for you to have here. Now I've practiced this before. So I'm doing that full swing, full speed. If you haven't done this before, you start a little slower. Start at like 50% speed. Just get the club head to work underneath there. But if you can do those two things, you're gonna deliver the club more from inside. And you're not only gonna be able to hit those irons solid like you already do, but you're also gonna be able to hit your longer irons, hybrids and fairway woods much better. Quick little caveat at the end here, as you are doing this, if you're a player who swings too steep and over, it's very likely that your club face also wants to be a little bit too open through impact, causing that curve off to the right. So if you take that club face and you now swing from inside, it isn't necessarily automatically gonna fix itself. 
So if you're doing this and you're hitting it solid, higher, farther, but gosh, Eric, they're going a little bit too far to the right, just make sure through the hitting area when you're doing this, the club's working from inside, it's more around you, but I'm also not gonna be shy about like getting that toe past the heel. Start closing that club face through impact. That's how you take your good iron swings and transfer them to good driver swings. I hope you'll give this a try. Do it before you go play. Try the same feel. Do that in your pre-shot routine. Swing more around you. That's what the best drivers of the ball do. Guys, appreciate you all being here. If you have any questions at always, leave us a comment down below. Click that little thumbs up button. Share this with a friend. That all really helps us out.